As a teacher at recess duty, sometimes I see things like this. There will be a ball stuck in a tree and all of the students will begin to throw other balls into the tree to get that ball out. But then other balls get stuck too. I was watching this and it reminded me of one of my favorite books. Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. I love his illustrations. They're very simple, but it's a hilarious story where a little boy loses his kite in a tree and he begins throwing larger and larger things into the tree to get it down. But everything ends up getting stuck. So inspired by how beautiful trees can be in the autumn or at different times of day and how many colors nature shows us, I wanted to do an illustration inspired by Stuck. To begin, you only have to draw a tree trunk shape. I did three little branches on the top. It's kind of like a rectangle, long rectangle, but you can do more if you want. This is some little short dash lines to make tree bark texture. I used blue on one side so that it would look a little shadowy and orange or yellow on the other side so it would look a little bit sunny, but you can add whatever colors you want to. In the book Stuck, Oliver Jeffers uses tons of different colors and it just kind of looks like there's different lighting in the day. Now for the canopy. The canopy is the top part of a tree. You're going to do tons of tangly, curly lines. The more there are, the more tangled your objects can get in your stuck tree. I'm using many different colors here as well. Taking my time. This video is of course sped up to make it as interesting as possible. Next, you can also add a small shadow to also indicate light. Next, we can start to add some water-based pigment. One way of doing that is with marker. Water-based markers can lay down some pigment that we will later wash with water to make it look painted. I'm using brown, yellow, and blue on my tree. Now watch what happens with a watery brush. It works just like watercolor paint to make my trunk look like a textured tree full of color. Now I'm also going to show you watercolor. With watercolor, use a clean wet brush for every color and swirl it in the pigment to add those colors into your tree. A tree does not have to be green on top and a trunk does not have to be brown. You can make things whatever color you want and you can use several colors to show shifting and light. I set that aside to dry and I get a new little paper to think of the funniest objects I can. Here I'm gonna draw a huge ship. That was the part of the book I remember feeling absolutely amazed. And this will be easy to cut out too. I'm coloring in and then I'm doing some more objects. A jacket made by using two halves of a shirt shape and then using a lighter shade in between. An old car. Randomly grapes, those beach balls that always fly high in the sky. And then I patiently cut them out. First, I just cut them all into separate pieces. And I snip off any remaining white. And I use some brush on tacky glue since my tree is still a little moist. I brush it onto the back of the object and then gently press it down into the tree. And there you have a stuck tree inspired by Oliver Jeffers. You can do lots of different versions with many colors and totally different objects. The crazier, the better.